Adipose derived stem cells have proven useful in the treatment of osteoarthritis in the small animal. There is also a great deal of compelling evidence that indicates that other debilitating diseases can be treated successfully with adipose derived stem cells. Here we have a young mixed breed dog that is quite lame in the left hind. Examination of the radiographs on this dog reveal that there are many changes consistent with hip dysplasia. Typically we collect the stem cells in the dog under heavy sedation or general anesthesia. When the dog's under anesthesia, he's monitored quite carefully with our five parameter monitoring system, which monitors blood pressure, heart rate, temperature, oxygenation of the blood, and the CO2 concentration in the respiration. We utilize aseptic technique to collect the cells since we do not want to any possibility of contamination of the sample. We make a stab incision in the lateral thorax, insert our cannula, our specialized cannula, subcutaneously to infiltrate the cells with our collection solution. Adipose derived stem cell therapy is a, in the dog is a three step process. The first process is the collecting of the fat and the blood to collect the tissue, the adipose derived stem cells, and the platelet rich plasma, which make up the, the solution that we inject. The second step is the laboratory processing of the tissues to collect the cells. This takes about two to three hours and the final product is ready for injection that same day. The third part of the procedure is the injection or the delivery of the cells into the lesion. In this dog with the hip dysplasia, we are injecting the cells directly into the, into the hip socket to facilitate healing.